Let me show you right off the bat what changed in 2018 when it comes to the Kali graphical user interface before we get into the details of it. Because you will be noticing some very slight differences in the videos to come. So I want to cover this before we get to these videos. Here are the differences that you are going to be noticing. In the graphical user interface, you'll notice that there's a switch user option that is no longer in the power menu. So if you go to the power menu here and you go to the user, which in my case is the root user. In the previous version of Kali, there used to be an option here that allows you to switch users. So if you had more than one user on the system, you'll be able to switch to the other user from this menu. This no longer exists here anymore. You'll also notice that the favorites bar here has changed slightly. The favorites bar is just a place where you have shortcuts to your favorite software. And you'll see later on how you can change the preferences here. In the new version of Kali, there's been very slight modifications to it, but it's nothing that you cannot change back to whatever your favorites are. Now, the good thing is that most of the tools are still pretty much the same. They have been upgraded or updated and that's it. And if you go to the settings menu, you'll notice that it looks a little bit different now. So we used to have these settings on the left, on the right hand side, but now they are moved to the left hand side. You will also notice small differences. For example, if I click on the network settings, you used to be able to see the network configuration in the same window. So you will see what your IP address is, what your DNS is, and so on. Now there's a small extra step where you have to go and click on the settings of the network, and then you'll be able to see the details. You'll also notice that there's an apply button, which wasn't there before. So now if you change the settings, you'll have to click apply, whereas before you could change them and they will be automatically accepted. And last but not least, there's been some minor changes in the way the search function works. So for example, in the previous versions, if I wanted to search for the lock screen option, so for example, if I wanted to configure my Kali to not lock the screen if I'm inactive, I used to just search for screen lock and that will give me the setting where I could change that. Now, as you can see here, this doesn't work anymore, but the option is still there. It hasn't gone anywhere. It's just a matter of the search functionality changing ever so slightly. So if I type screen instead, I can still go to the privacy options and change the setting. That's it really when it comes to the graphical user interface. As you can see, very, very minor changes, nothing to worry about. The core functionality, the tools, the settings, everything is still pretty much the same. All right, let's move on and dig a little bit deeper. 